Let me guess, if you're in high school, the coming years probably look something like this. Well, you have to finish high school. Hopefully your grades are good enough to get into the college you want because that's probably where you're headed. When you graduate four or five or six years later, your career aspirations may lead you to follow up your bachelor's degree with grad school. Now, somewhere between the ages of 21 to 25, it will be time to get a job. And that's where your education is supposed to pay off. Hey, that's pretty close to what you're thinking, isn't it? Your friends are all probably seeing the same thing as well. That's how our parents did it. Why not us? What's the big deal? Glad you asked. In this video, I'm going to show you how to revolutionize the way you think about college and your career. You'll get your degree faster, save a boatload of money, and start earning a real income sooner in a career that you're more likely to enjoy. And that, my friend, is the big deal. So it's a fair question. What is wrong with the current education formula? Well, let's talk money. According to the College Board, you're going to pay somewhere in the neighborhood of nine to 21000 for a year of tuition and fees. Now, in case you're wondering what planet I'm from, because those numbers seem too low, those are net costs, which means these represent the actual costs after the scholarships are applied. Now, personally, I don't know what planet the survey was taken from, because our friends and family have reported paying much higher than this for private education. But for the sake of argument, let's assume these numbers are correct. While some may have parents that are independently wealthy, or have saved up for years, paying for higher education for most of us entails the use of a four-letter word. Debt. How much debt? Well, the most recent data from the U.S. Department of Education found that 67% of students graduating from a four-year college had student loan debt. Thinking about a private for-profit university, that number goes up to 96%. But what about actual dollars? How much do they owe? Well, according to this study, the number can vary between 20 and 33,000, depending on the school you attend. If you snoop around on the internet, you'll find plenty of people that owe well over 100,000. Regardless of the number, here's the scary part. All indications are that the amount of student loan debt is rising. According to the College Board, it's going to take 14 long years before your income, net of loan payments, starts to beat that of a high school graduate. Hmm, I bet you didn't hear that at a recent college visit. Hey, but it's only money. Let's say you and your sugar daddy figured out a way to take care of that cost. Here's another problem with today's education formula. Here's a little experiment. In the coming weeks, ask some friends of your parents what they studied in school, then see how closely their major aligns with what they're doing now. I don't have any scientific data for this, but we've been doing this little experiment for a couple of years, and our findings are scarier than a year's tuition and fees at Harvard. Except for situations where the degree was very specialized, for the example medicine, the hit rate for working in their field of study 10 to 15 years after graduation was strikingly low. One person's story was, I found out after years of studying and paying for law school that I actually hated being a lawyer. How could I have spent all that money only to find out that it was wasted? Note, it wasn't just money that was spent, it was years of his life. What if today's education formula could be changed? I'm not talking small incremental changes, like taking a couple years at a community college before racking up bigger bills. I'm talking about revolutionizing the formula. I'm talking about an approach that is so mind-blowing that you wouldn't believe it could ever be done. I'm talking about having a bachelor's degree by say you're 18 years old and you start that 19th year of your life earning a paycheck and without debt. Did you just hear that right? 18 years old with a bachelor's degree? Really? And without debt? You might be thinking, now I really want to know what planet you're from. I'm from planet Earth, my friend, and this sort of revolutionary change to higher education is not 20 years down the road or dependent on legislation from Washington. It's been available for years, so it's easier than ever to do today. And you could get started right now. Want to know how? First, you have to get your mind wrapped around the fact that much of the first couple of years of college is just a repeat of high school. Why? Well, let's assume the reasons are beyond trying to scam you out of two years of tuition. Regardless, that's money you don't need to be spending. You might know about AP credits. In fact, you might be slaving away at an AP class right now, thinking of other four-letter words to describe how you feel about the experience. And I don't mean love. Better than a four-letter word, here's a beautiful four-letter acronym that could be your friend. CLEP. It stands for College Level Examination Program, and it has been around before my dad clepped out of some English classes back in the Middle Ages. Sorry, Dad. Here's how it works. You show up at a testing facility and take a test. If you pass the test, you typically rack up between three to six college credits. And how much do they cost? Under $100. And CLEPs are accepted by the vast majority of colleges and universities. By the way, Mr. Clep has a cousin named Dante's, and though not as widely accepted, the Dante's can help you bank some credits through exam as well. 
If you think the only way to get college credits early is to survive an AP class, you have to meet our superheroes, Mr. Klepp and Dantes. So what if you knocked off a year or two of your bachelor's degree process? Do the math, or at least have your parents do the math. We're talking real money. And for the subjects and credits you can't nail down by exam, get them through distance learning. From the comfort of your own easy chair, you and your mouse can take classes from universities all over planet Earth. And you'll do it for a lot less money than if you were parked at a brick and mortar university. And you will literally meet people from around the world. So let's say you saved a bunch of cash and got your degree faster. How would that help? Well, how about earning a paycheck faster? Instead of spending money in those tender years of 18 to 21, you're making money, baby! And you're making money in a field that you think you'll actually be interested in. It could be you'll absolutely love it and want to pursue it further. If so, you could go off and get a graduate degree at some really big-name school. At least you'll be doing it with some workplace credibility under your belt, and might I add, no debt on your shoulders. And if you find you're really not into what you're studying, you can send a new course without feeling like a guy who just spent $150,000 on a career he'd enjoy as much as a root canal. So how would I revolutionize higher education? You'd get your degree faster, for a lot less money, so you can test the waters earlier while making money. I'll tell you to get started now, finish a class in high school this year, and take the clap pronto while it's still fresh in your mind. Can it work? Well, I'm doing it right now. I started taking CLEPs less than six months ago, and I'm getting close to finishing the equivalent of my freshman year in college. By the way, that would have cost about $40,000 at, say, Wheaton College, but I got it in about six months for about $3,000, and I'm only 15. Whether you're 15, 18, or 58, you can use these ideas to get your degree faster and for less money. By the way, you can try this on your own or get help from the people who are experts at the mechanics. I'm using College Plus to help me navigate these waters. You can find them at www.collegeplus.org. Let's revolutionize the education formula. Let's get started.